Look at this fucking thing. <sighs> Holy shit. Let's see if I can hold him. Like, uh... All right, I got, I'm, I'm doing the video. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. Today we're gonna to talk about catching a tiger muskie on a fly rod. One of my most favorite things to do in this planet. I mean, if you can imagine your fly just kind of, you know, doting along as you're stripping it in, and then Ken Griffey Jr. just does one of his full home run swings and hits your fly, that's what it's like when a muskie hits it. It is just punishing, so much fun. But let's talk about the gear you need and where you need to go and kind of uh, all the techniques of uh, catching a muskie on a fly and let's uh, let's hope we have some success tonight. All right, let's do this, fish on. All right, let's open up the musky box. So you can see the flies that I have are big and you can see the ones that I've got tied on right now, that sucker is huge. It's probably six inches long. So the bigger the better. I do have some poppers as well. Sometimes you get lucky and you have a musky or a uh, pike that'll take a topwater fly, but you wanna have at least 13 pound test you absolutely want bite leader or any type of uh, tieable stainless steel. Uh, they also make uh, stainless steel leaders that are pre-tied with a swivel and a, and a snap swivel. You can see I've got some swivels and snap swivels here, but just kind of a variety of different really big, big patterns. The, uh, the musky and the uh, pike like, like these larger flies. So you've seen the gear, now what about the rod? So I have a pretty heavy six weight. Typically though, for muskies, you wanna have a seven or eight weight. I do like fishing a little bit lighter rods. Um, I don't know what it is, but I can get this fly hucked out there pretty good. And that's really why you need the heavier weight rod because you're typically throwing out some pretty big flies. But I'm gonna be using a, uh, a St. Croix six weight. I've got uh, a full sink line on my reel, that's important. You can see here, I've got the fly, and then I've got about eight inches of bite leader, that stainless steel bite leader, and I've got a nine foot tapered, 13 pound test tapered leader. So it'll throw that fly over nicely and hopefully present it right in front of a muskie. All right, so uh, let's go see if we can catch one. So again, I probably have a seven or an eight weight I don't know, I just like fishing a little bit lighter rods. It takes a little bit more effort to huck out this great big fly, but it's still get it done. But uh, now you wanna look for structure. So you can see the bank behind me. It's uh, It has a sharp drop off. There's lots of trees and sticks and stuff like that. So we're gonna be fishing along the bank and I'm gonna be targeting that structure. The muskie and also pike like to kind of hang around in those kind of places. So. That's where we're gonna be targeting, all that stuff you see in the edge there. So you, uh, you're you gonna probably lose some flies along the way doing this, but man, when you can get one of these things to start following and then take the fly, it is just really quite unbelievable. But let's, uh, let's, let's go see if we can catch one. All right, we are in position. So they call uh, muskies, you know, the fish of a thousand casts because uh, they can be pretty persnickety when it comes to biting a fly. I've had a lot of musky follow it and just not follow through with it. Oh, you can see some stuff down below there. So yeah, you gotta, you wanna fish the structure, but you also don't wanna get stuck on the structure. So that's important. All right, so you let your fly sink a little bit. So I'm gonna get it down there. And now the strip pattern are long strips. So you kind of go a long six inch, six to eight inch strip, you stop, six to eight inch strip, and then you stop, six to eight inch strip, stop. So you kind of want to tease the, the muskie into, into biting your fly. All right, so let's do that again. Huck this thing out there. All right, so we're gonna let it sink. All right, so again, the strip pattern. It's strip, strip, stop. 
strip, 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 stop. Strip, strip, stop. Strip, strip. A lot of times the muskie will take it right now and you'll go to strip and they'll be on it and then they'll run like a bat out of hell. Strip, strip, stop. So you wanna cut, try to tease the muskie in into uh, eating your fly. All right, so let's demonstrate it again. Okay, you ready? So you made a nice big long cast. I let it sink for probably eh, maybe five to 10 seconds. All right, so, so about an eight inch strip. Strip, strip, stop. Strip, 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 stop. Strip, strip, stop. Strip, 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 stop. Strip, strip. So that is the strip cadence. You mix it up a little bit, but you want to give that fly action, get it to stop. You want to kind of entice the muskie to, uh, to chase your fly. All right, let's see if we can get one. But I'll cast next to docks, stumps, sticks. They seem to uh, hang out around the structure. musky so the other thing we need to talk about regarding presentation is what happens if the tiger musky grab the fly you want to do what's called a strip set so you don't want to do a trout set as that is a trout set when you pull your rod back you want to do a strip set so you're stripping in la da 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 your fly is just kind of coming along and all of a sudden bam the muskie hits you want a strip set like this strip set and then get him on the rod so it's really important to do that each time that uh you have a muskie that grabs on or even pike so both muskie and pike are the same type of set. The other thing with pike fishing or musky fishing, a lot of times you'll get these guys, they'll just kind of follow your fly in. So that is so frustrating when you see this 30, 40 plus inch fish just kind of slowly following your fly and it won't commit. But unfortunately, that is just part of the game. You're gonna get a lot of followers. But if you get a follower, that means you're doing something right. So that's a good thing means they're interested in your fly now they just have to have that trigger in their brain to where you know they lock on and they want to eat it yeah yeah I know I know what you're thinking and disappointed that I couldn't get get into a muskie tonight well tonight is more of a tu tutorial tonight is more of a tutorial about how to do it so let's go back just a little over a year ago what was that like what do you got on the rod? I got that big giant black fly. Look at this thing. Look at that guy. Holy shit. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, it's like it's prehistoric. It's so, so now we gotta get it in the boat. Okay. You just keep walking. Look, this huge. Oh, he's heavy. <sighs> Look at this thing. <sighs> Holy shit. Let's see if I can hold him. Like, uh... Alright, I got. Uh, I'm doing the video. Alright, I'm videoing now. Oh. You are 100% on video now. <laughs> He's so unhappy. He's not happy. See what I'm saying underneath his chin? Yep. Oh. Look at
There he goes. Bye, buddy. Wow. Oh, that was a nice one. You see, that's what it's like. And that wasn't that long ago. And don't you worry, we're going to get one uh, live on video here the next time out. So thanks for joining me tonight. And I uh, hope this helps you with, uh, with regards to fly fishing for pike and tiger musky. And uh, I wish you luck out there. But uh, anyway, next time out, we're going to catch one. Thanks for joining me tonight. Fish on, guys.